Hey, welcome back to Hood Shocker Live. I'm DJ Hood Shocker, the man with the intellectual master plan. And you already know on Hood Shocker Live, I get on and I talk about things that pop up into this crazy mind of mine. You feel me? Now, listen, I don't know if you've been tracking it. I don't know if you even forgot about it. But guess what? I just saw that a judge approved $600 million. That's right. A six. Hundred million dollar settlement in that Flint, Michigan water crisis. And they say that eventually the children are going to be the ones that benefit from the disaster. Hmm. Oh, yeah. You forgot about Flint, Michigan, right? You know why you forgot? Hmm. You got so many distractions that keep you from thinking about things that directly affect you. Let's talk about it, family. You know what I'm saying? Look, a court has just approved a settlement of more than $600 million. And they're saying that a majority of that money will be paid by the state of Michigan. Now it's crazy that in America, people have to have this type of long battle over contaminated water in Flint, Michigan. They call this thing um, contaminants in the water. They called it, I want to say, the nation's worst public health disaster. But what's crazy is that they just reached this $626 million settlement and most of the lawsuits filed by those Flint residents were pushed to the side. You know, it's crazy like in the United States that the government let people who look like this stay exposed to dangerous lead contaminated water. Now they keep saying that the children are gonna benefit you know, but this is what I want you to think about. Benefit at what price? They are watching their family die from complications. They are dying from health complications. And they will eventually have additional health complications. All because the city knew that they were drinking poison water and did nothing about it. That's just crazy. You know, Flint, Michigan water is considered uh, an environmental disaster. So from what I researched now, let me just try to break this thing down to you. Cause you know, I speak, I'm, I'm gonna be scattered all around. I'm over here, I'm over there. Let me try to break this down so it'll forever be broke. You know, based on my research, you know, so I want you to understand what has happened. Um, 2014, Flint, Michigan, they stopped drawing water from one of the Great Lakes. It's called Lake Huron. And then they switched to the Flint River because they was trying to save some money. You know what I'm saying? Then the state failed to ensure that the proper corrosion controlled chemicals were added to the water supply, which resulted in lead getting into the water pipes, going into homes and causing a mass contamination. Now what's crazy about this situation is they were already having infrastructure issues. They already had horribly aged pipes in certain communities because, you know, they hadn't done the work. You know, they got to excavate. They got to, you know, pull up the old pipes and put down new pipes. But certain communities, the communities that look like this, they didn't get the good pipes. They didn't get the new pipes. They had the old pipes, the corroded pipes. So now what they would do is that they would put contaminants or chemicals into the water that would, I guess, fight against the lead because these communities already had bad pipes. 
Are you understanding? Rewind, go back and listen to what I just said. The residents of Flint, Michigan, you know, which is like 100,000 black people, they started complaining about discolored water. They started complaining about the water smelling bad. And they started getting skin infections and skin rashes, you know, after they took showers and after they took a bath, right? And then they was consistently voicing their concerns. But guess what happened? They got ignored. You know what I'm saying? Look, the situation got so bad that they labeled this environmental racism. Do you know how crazy something has to be in the quote unquote environment for people to call it environmental racism? It's just crazy to see. Now, the $626 million, which is nothing compared to somebody's lives, but thousands of people losing their lives, getting infected. It's just horrible, right? Now, they're saying that under the, the terms of the, the agreement, 80% of the monetary award goes to residents who were younger than 18 at the time that they were exposed to lead contamination. Now imagine a state where they would allow water to be contaminated in certain neighborhoods. And then once it's found out about and people exposed it in the media, then the environmental protection agency steps in and then they started trying to force Michigan to do something about it. This is unbelievable. The government failed these people on the federal level, on the state level, and on a local level. And what's crazy is that most of the officials, they're getting charged with a crime. And I think, uh, I think that litigation is like pending. It's like pending limit, uh, litigation. Now, of course, they pled not guilty. But man, think about how hated you have to be in this type of situation where somebody would poison you and then consistently try to act as if you were not even poisoned. These people, hundred thousands, complaining, bad smelling water, getting skin infections and stuff. Some of the children were going to a pediatrician and some of the people were going to doctors and the doctors and the pediatricians were saying, no, it's nothing wrong with them. Something that is majorly wrong. And guess what? You don't care. You don't care because it don't affect you because you can't see how it affects you. But trust me, it definitely affects you because if it can happen in Flint, it can happen wherever you are. And you're not even understanding that. I will never understand. I will say this over and over and over again. How you have total trust in a system that hates you. I will never understand it. I'm just saying, man, Hood Shocker Live, DJHoodShocker.com. Stay focused, stay safe, support the hood. Boom.